Okay guys, and now the moment of truth. The nest has dried completely, the glue, silicone I mean. Um, I've got some cotton, I've blocked off the other entrance here. <coughs> and I've got a little uh, barbecue skewer um, in case I need to guide some of the brood. And of course I have my tetramorium here. And let's just simply hope for the best. I've got pieces of tape here in case I need to tape this test tube here. So I need to remove the cotton swab, which will thereby expose the queen. There she is with her eggs. Now I'm hoping this works. If I just like this. Yeah. She really doesn't know what to do. Wow, I'm looking at her young now and the majority are pupae and some really mature uh, some mature larvae. I'm trying to decide whether I want to tap her in or just leave this test tube here for her to go in herself. Doesn't look like those pupae are going to go anywhere. Another thing I can do is somehow bring the cloth out. Hmm. And I think I'm going to try to pull the cloth. Oh, there we go. We have a few pupae that fell out. There we go. Luckily, I have my stick here to collect them. delicate. See one little tap will get them spilling everywhere. I think what I'm going to try to do is get the queen in there and then moving the babies should be fairly simple. So now, after all of that, her babies are inside. She herself is inside. See right there. And she, right now she's kind of exploring the place. And there you have it. Right now she's collecting all the pupae that have scattered. She's put them all in a group to a neat little pile inside there. She's cleaning herself. She's in new surroundings. And let's just hope for the best. Hope she adapts well to this new nest of hers. And hope her new family really likes it as well. <laughs>